Anne Marie Johnson appears in the own oh, it's own series, the uh, Oprah Winfrey Network yes, own, own series, uh, Cherish the Day, which follows the relationship of a couple in each episode spanning a single day. She is also the first African American to serve as the VP of the Screen Actors Guild and has received multiple honors for her activism. Welcome, Anne Marie. Nice to see Yay. you again, Anne. How are you? So happy yeah, to meet you. Yes. Yay, you. Um, so first. Let's get the, the show out of the way because yes. it is a own show. It's going to. It's a big deal. It's, it's a huge it's a, deal. It's a big deal for own. It's a big deal for Oprah Winfrey. It's a bigger deal for a F or Ava DuVernay. Mm -hmm. um, it's an anthology, and mm -hmm. this first season covers the trials and tribulations of a young African American couple. I think the goal was um, for Ava and for Oprah to honor black love because mm -hmm. the images, the historical images of love between two people of color have not been as positive or realistic as they should be. So this is a, just an, another terrific opportunity to demonstrate that black love is the same as any other color love. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting to me because I, you know, I grew up in the 50s and 60s mm -hmm. We they they didn't even show. No, it wasn't even around. No. We didn't even know it existed. That's right. In 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 television. That's land. right. Usually that weird? when they had African. Think about that. We, well, it's it's weird, but it's nice to see the progress. progress. Right, right, right. It's it's slow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, as you were saying, traditionally from uh, the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, right. usually African American characters were on their own. Mm -hmm. right. They didn't want to introduce a family. Um, so this is nice. This is a nice change of pace, and I'm very honored to be part of the project. And tell me about your character. Um, I don't want to give too much away. Okay, but, okay. But uh, I play Because it's airing next week. It, it's airing next week. I play the mother of one of the leads, and she's a very strict mother with a certain plan for her adult children, and um, suffer the fool who doesn't follow those plans. Oh, I like that. So, yeah. so uh, mom is very strong. Mom is very and strong. And she has uh, an old way of thinking or a new way of thinking. Is it progressive, or is it... Uh, uh, Anne Marie Johnson thinks it's traditional. <laughs> okay, because I think this um, is part of the mix. Yeah. She certainly wasn't like my mother or father, right. um, but uh, it's very traditional, very uh, aggressive, yeah. wanting the best for her children. Sure. I, I, I actually really respected the character, right. considering the circumstances. All right. Yeah. So um, now I want to switch gears and talk about the Screen Actors Guild. Yeah. Okay. Um, you are no longer the VP, though you no. were for four, quite a while. Yeah, four, four terms. Four terms. Yeah, I was a member of the uh, governing board for 17 years. Okay, so I want to talk about diversity in the Screen Actors Guild yes. and diversity. I mean, not uh, and in the Academy as sure. well. Yeah. Because you know we just got off the Academy Awards and pretty disappointing, right? Yes, pretty disappointing. So. How does that shift? Because we heard a couple of years ago they were making all of these strides right. to, to diversify the academy. Right. And then here we are back in the same place we were. Yes. It doesn't shift until humanity shifts. The union can only do so much. The academy can only do so much. Uh, it takes more um, aggressive involvement from the community, from the decision-making positions. We need, we just simply need more people of color and more women in, in grander decision-making positions. And we still do not. I think there's still a lot of tokenism going on. I think there's still a lot of, well, we'll only give you this much and, and not go over that line. It's, it, we just have to be aggressive. We just yeah. have to keep on top of it. We can't get lazy. And that's that's what happens in this industry. Yeah. It Absolutely. happens to all categories in this industry. Right. Women over a certain age, men over a certain age, mm -hmm. certain ethnicities, certain weights, certain, I mean, the way we look. I mean, mm -hmm. this is an image-driven business. And, part of, you part know. of our, our Beyond TV mission here yeah. is to democratize media, which allows Ooh. us to be able to do wow. things that the networks are afraid to do or That's won't right. do. I think they're not afraid. They don't want to. They just to. don't they want yeah, to. No, they why? just don't because want to. They don't feel like why? Exactly. You can walk in this door and we can sit down and have a conversation and yeah. there's no... Uh, people up above in the ivory tower That's saying correct. no. That's correct, right. And this is actually the way to do it. This is how slow change happens. Mm -hmm. It may not happen as quickly as we would like, but they don't want to change. Yeah. As is the history of America. Right. They, you have to <laughs> shove, force, sue, push, yeah. and change the political uh, you know, outlook of the country to force change. And yeah. this is how you do it. Well, you know, and, and, and we know it's a slow, hard process, as yeah. you, I'm sure, do sure. understand yeah. how, how tough that rogue is. And we've heard for a long time, we've got to get more women and we've got to get more diversity into these positions of power. But it 
always boggles my mind at how hard that becomes. Well, well, here's the thing. Even when you do get more women and more people of color, the mindset is still the same. Yeah. yeah that, the behavior is still absolutely. the same. So it's going to take, it's evolution. It's yeah. going to take a lot of education and immersion. It's going to take something to get that mindset to change. Because just because you're a woman doesn't mean you're a feminist. Yeah. Just because you're a person of color doesn't mean you're a big, can't be a bigot or a racist. Exactly. Right. It is you're a right. mindset. Yeah. Yeah. Well, with leaders like you and Oprah Winfrey, we hope that that begins, the change begins to happen. But I invite all folks who, who want to, everyone can do it. Be on, be yeah. on television. We're here. Yeah. We're here for yeah. you. And yeah. we don't have any of those layers. This is the layer. This is it. It's democratized. And even if it's not changed. television, in yeah. your own life, in your you own can world. get yes. a leader. Yeah. Yes. We all can do it. Yeah. Yes. We just have to know we can. Henry, do Marie, it. so great to have you. Thank here. you for coming. Thank you. You're a delight. <laughs> Wish you the best of luck with the yes. show. Yes. Thank you. Cherish the day. That's it. Thank you very much. We'll be right back.